so um, let's let's spend few minutes on your journey assisting startups and and you have been involved with a lot of startups you have been assisting a lot of startups and helping them structure so in your journey what are some of the things that you have seen um, successful or some of the tenets of a successful startup or some of the qualities that you that that you have you look for in a startup when it comes to predicting their success um you know i i think it's um uh it starts with really with two things the the problem space and the strength of the team um and money is important but obviously if you get those first two things right money finds its way into the into the business and um you know the most successful startups are the ones that have um have that really strong vision uh you know what is the real pain that real people or real companies have uh that that you're going to go solve and how are you going to solve it and how are you going to solve it in a way that is better faster and cheaper than other solutions out there or you or completely unique or or whatever the model is um and um uh you know i think the the strength of team has a lot to do with vision um but it also has to do with the capacity to think strategically and with the capacity to execute and you know at the end of the day you can have a great idea but if you can't execute it then it doesn't matter um and it doesn't matter how much money you have so um uh you know when i see those two things come together in a startup i get excited about that startup's prospects interesting and um so if if we if we talk about say team um and i think you you wrote extensively about team you are assisting many many startups in understanding the leadership and the importance of leadership so if suppose we we say hypothetically we see a startups uh, incubation journey from day 0 to say ipo from your vantage point at which stage in a startup which kind of leadership is essential for its success like did you get a chance to think about um how say if i'm an entrepreneur getting into getting into my startup journey at what point i should be looking for which kind of talent pool uh, i wonder if you have any perspective on it um i i do i mean i i think there are um there are people you can bring into a business who are great at a particular stage but aren't great at other stages and then there are people in businesses in the startup world who are very good at scaling from one stage to the next and um you can learn the second one but that doesn't necessarily come naturally to everyone um so the most important thing startup ceos can do is just understand the people on their team and how scalable they are to the next stage of the company's life whatever wh- whether you're going from seed to series a or series a to series b or b to c uh, just because you nailed one doesn't mean you're ready to nail the next um because different things are required and it's not just different things are required to be successful at you know a series b company versus a series a company it's navigating that transition from one stage to the other that not everyone is great at and and i think the reason not everyone's great at it is that usually uh, startups are a um uh a journey in creative destruction and you know the things that make a company work at one stage actually have to frequently be torn down or at least altered pretty dramatically for the company to be successful at the next stage of life so whether it's you know you implement your first version of an accounting system and it's quickbooks and then it's just not going to work and you have to go implement intact but that actually means you have to rip out a system put in a new one reinvent accounting processes around it um and and that part the stage transition part and you can apply that to any functional department mm-hmm. you can apply it to systems or processes or people um it, it's that tear down and build back part that's really difficult um for a lot of people because a lot of those people are the ones that built it in the first place so being good not just at creative destruction as in hey i'm going to come in and we're going to do things differently and i'm going to level it up but being the person who built it and then had to replace it um is what's really challenging just 
So I think so. Uh, one thing that's fascinating about your journey. So um, in your um, in your past life, you have um, led an innovative part uh, or team of a of, of a successful organization, Movie Phone, bring it to success. You yourself have created hand created an organization, bring it to success. And and many times um, success, as you rightly said, is good team and great execution. So now. Um, in your journey, um, and w- when we talk to a bunch of leaders about, and this, they said, hey, culture is center to both of them, right? Hopefully inviting or having having ability to see great talent and and, and understanding the, the execution element. So from your journey and from the journey that you have seen a successful startups uh, undertake, what are some of the good practices you have seen that entrepreneurs or companies do building a successful culture? Um, The most important thing about building a successful culture is being intentional about it. Um, So as I always say, every company has a culture, whether or not the founder's paying attention to it, right? It just develops, it is. Um, And uh, if you want to shape the culture, then you have to shape the culture. You have to spend time doing that. And not all founders do that. There are a lot of founders that just, you know, think, oh, well, you know, I'm going to set the tone and it's going to be fine, or they don't even think about it. Um, And it's easy to wake up one day with 20, 30, 50 people in the company and actually not like what you see, Mm -hmm. even though you're the founder, even though you're the CEO. So being really intentional intentional about um, shaping the culture, about putting the um, programs in place, the practices, the cultural artifacts, weaving culture into the employee life cycle from how you interview people to how you review people and compensate people and um, hire them, fire them. All those things are, are really important, but if, if, you're not, if you're not being intentional about them, they won't happen the right way. So that's the, the most important thing is just paying attention to it and being intentional about it. 